I'm Brian Sowers, owner and president of Treeline Incorporated, as well as the Main Land Store. Main Land Inc. is our land-owning entity. I grew up in a small town in New York, got a love for the forest and the woods. I moved to Maine in 1977, got a job as a forester for International Paper Company, left IP to start my own company in 1981 with a chainsaw and a horse, actually. Today we employ about 70 trained, highly professional forest workers. We own a lot of land ourselves. We do just about everything that goes on in the woods. Our Sabois Forest, that's a 1,540 acre parcel adjacent to the Sabois Town Road, also adjacent to the Sabois Stream. A lot of good forest management that's going on. We've been managing that land for quite a few years. We've got a lot of natural forests that we're working to thin and cultivate to grow into good mature forests. Ashland, where we have a fabulous, I think it's about an 800 acre piece with a lot of road frontage. It surrounds some beautiful potato fields. It's a property that we've, we've owned for several years. We've worked on it some. It's got a lot of potential, great markets right close by. This property has a lot of value and a great future. The purchasing of the Sepoys property is quite memorable. The previous owner was a, just a wonderful, wonderful individual. Lived down on Long Island and he was a real giver. Mike and I went down. In fact, we flew down. The previous owner picked us up. He had bought and owned that property to develop it as a retreat for people that had emotional stress and were in need of peace and quiet and therapy. So he had a real heart for uh, people and he was great to meet. Regarding Ashland, a couple winters ago, we had one week where we hit some record volumes. We delivered, I think, 100 loads of biomass chips into the Ashland power plant off that property uh, in six and a half days. So that was kind of fun. That was a company record. If you start with a mature forest, you're going to do some partial cuts to not only remove diseased and over mature trees, but you're also going to start advanced regeneration. Regeneration means the next forest is starting to grow. Then you can remove the mature forest carefully, and then you start working with that next generation, move into a semi-commercial thinning. These operations are generally seven or eight years apart to develop a stand in 40, 50, 60 years. We operate on a sustainable management basis, meaning there's always something ready to harvest, there's always something ready to thin or commercial cut. You know, we're basically farmers and our crop are trees and we're doing the same thing that farmers do. We've got a fabulous gravel esker that we've developed into a nice gravel pit. What's nice about this particular pit, it's certainly large in volume, there's hundreds of thousands of yards there, but it has a nice diversity of materials, make pretty much anything you want. We've got a really uh, excellent road system in place. The property is probably 75 to 80 percent accessible by year-round road, and that gravel pit was instrumental in us being able to do that. The Savoy Stream is a really nice trout stream, navigable by small fishing boat, canoe, kayak. Chance to put a small boat into the stream right there on our property, and that feeds into the Piscataquis River, which then feeds into the Penobscot, which feeds the Atlantic Ocean. Hunting on these properties, of course, Sabois is set up beautifully with Peter Connor and Pleasant River Guide Services. He does such a wonderful job there to manage the property from a hunting standpoint. He's had very good success, and they've taken quite a few black bear off that property. The white-tailed deer uh, population is growing right now. Up in Ashland, very similar. Both of these properties are surrounded by tens and tens and tens of thousands of acres of managed forest. Peter Connor with Pleasant River Guide Service out of Sebec, Maine. You don't have to just rely on this property for animals to be on it. You can draw them to this property and they can live on all the surrounding property. Oh, okay. So there's got to be an extra, what, 40,000 acres around you. If you looked at a map and saw the, saw the actual overhead area, mm -hmm. where this property backs up, the road system for the other property stops. So going out to the uh, north uh, west of it, yeah. Nobody has access to that. This property really has everything. And one of the big things is fishing. That's a great trout stream. There's ducks and geese in it all the yeah. time, too. So Mike and I go back 20, 25 years. We we're just talking about that. Mike's a real pro himself. He's probably one of the most knowledgeable land guys that I know. He actually helped me buy this property years ago when we bought it. Um, he's helped me buy other properties, helped us sell some properties. He's a straight shooter, great guy, and he knows the forest. I should add about Mike, one of the reasons he knows the forest so good is because he's worked in the forest. I think he told me he cut his first tree with a chainsaw when he was about seven. He's been in the woods ever since. Mike Cole, I work with Maine Outdoor Properties at a Realty of Maine in Bangor. We focus mainly on recreational land, waterfront, kind of the heart of Maine type stuff. This is really the focus on what we do. It's land, and timber, just kind of the best of what Maine has to offer. My family's been in timber since uh, the late 1800s, five generations now. I've been in the woods since seven or eight years old. We'd like to take care of the land, and the land takes care of us. 
We were over in Sebois. It's a beautiful piece. It's not just a timber property. It comes with a resident hunting guide attached to it. It's got a great road system. It's really a special property. It's a well-maintained forest. It's been timberland active and managed for quite a long time. So when you have a piece of ground like that, you've already got tree plantations that are 20 years along. You've got so much mature wood that's ready to go now, and you've got stuff that's available for later, and you're always making money off that property. Not only you have the hunting and fishing, but there's over 14,000 miles of marked trails in Maine. This listing is really a timberland portfolio. We have the Ashland piece and the Saboas piece offered together. Ashland is a really good timber property, but it also has a great moose and deer population up there. 760 acres bisected by a good road with power, so it's a great opportunity if you wanted to put hunting cabins or anything you wanted to put on there. If you're a hunter or even timberland investing or even if you just wanted to build your dream home, Ashland is a great spot. These properties are being offered individually and collectively. It's fine if somebody wants to buy one or the other, or we certainly would love to work with the buyer that would like to own both of them. Owner financing is a possibility for certain clients. We'd be willing to talk about that. Savoy's so just a fabulous property, and I think in today's market, it makes sense to, to make it available to others. In Ashland, Ashland is 100 miles from our home base. It's just a little bit out of our normal operating range. I think that makes perfect sense to put that on the market right now. Our great hope would be to find a buyer that would be interested in using our services to continue to manage the property. We really love this property and it has a great future. Myself and our forest management team would really enjoy being able to work with the next owner and bring all the work that we've done to fruition. We hope that we can build some new relationships that are really good for everybody.